When Tyson said, uh, let's do a movie together, my first question was, who's gonna be the director? You know, if they're making a documentary about this, it better be good, okay? <laughs> a guy stabs a ghost, but it's actually not a ghost, but it's his best friend. Or is it his brother? People like funny movies. Henry, you're not that funny. Walkers are here! My game plan today is pretty much as little FaceTime as possible. Give me a line. I gave it to Tracy. That's pretty much my plan. Dad won't tell us what the movie is about. Well, we're all going to find out at the same time. All I can say is you would think that making a movie with your pastor, it wouldn't be that hard to convince him of a, a redeeming element. Uh, you'd be wrong. So it has been my dream for years to make a horror movie. You know, diabolical monsters, blood, gore. And so I'm super excited that we're going to come together. Uh, we got a script uh, that Tyson and I have been working on. I'm super excited. I'm really actually really excited to do this movie because we've been watching a ton of horror movies. And I was kind of thinking last night, like, Conjuring 1, when they have the pianos downstairs in the basement and they have the keys that play at like midnight or whatever. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, and like yeah. the cellar when they broke down the door and the piano or whatever. Yeah, that'd be oh. awesome. Scary stuff. Can you explain maybe like, is there three, you know, take home points? Maybe, you know, happy ending or, you know, zombies get their brains I mean, back? Or I would, I'd, say that, I'd say the main goal is a cat, we want a cow's head with blood kind of splurting all across uh, people's faces, chainsaws. The idea is that Ryder, you know, doesn't sleep the night he watches it. That's kind of the idea, you know, scared of the dark kind of thing, right? Hey, Dad, don't you think um, maybe there should be a love interest involved in that movie? Oh, you want not chase in the movie, do you? So this year we're really breaking from tradition. Not only we're we doing it with the walkers, you know, we've always had some heart, some laughter, um, you know, some sort of redeeming factor in our movies. But uh, this year it's going to be a little different, apparently, you know, with the horror. Uh, I could see ever since Nate, you know, was in the Grinch that he really wanted to steal the Christmas joy uh, from everybody. So it's no surprise. Um, we'll see how this goes. Don't move. Okay, don't move. Don't talk. Quiet! Hey! No talking, no moving! There's nothing new under the sun. Every year, Shannon gets out of being in front of the camera. I end up being in the most awkward, whatever, gruesome character. It's her husband's idea. Why do I have to do it? And she gets out of it. And what is Nate thinking putting Izzy in a horror film? She is just like innocent. This is, I don't know. This is terrible. Okay, bro, bro, imagine you see a zombie and he farts. New best idea. And um, also imagine there's a vampire. You're scared. You don't know what you're going to do. But then he starts picking his butt. New, new best idea. That would be amazing. So... When does each child need to be ready? Who, who, what time are we, like bit, each thing bit. happening? Just, you just need to go with the flow. But I, I'm going with the flow, but like what time the, is the flow starting? That's the opposite. Is all, that's the, no. you, that is the opposite of the flow. It says Pastor Nate put me in a scene with intestines and blood and stuff. How do you have a cooler? Yeah, we got a cooler. Not our cooler. Yeah, our cooler. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. We, can yeah. do it. we need it. We need it. Teamwork. Teamwork, guys. Then they can film. Good work. And we can just go sit in the car and not have to be a part of it. 
except for the grabbing <laughs> of the gut and putting it in the cooler. Shannon's so eager to get out of here. She's willing no, to get out of That are they'll be okay with the footage that we got. What do you think? I'm sure that they would have wanted something else. More and different. <laughs> yeah, better. Oh well. You enjoying this? Why does he have to make a horror movie? It just sounds so evil. Admit that it's weird. He's a pastor and wants creepy dolls. The movie should be in that valley. You know, but you remember when we buried these sheep right back here? Sugar and Liza? Yeah, what was that like? Horrible and disgusting. Yeah, it was terrible. You watched Liza die right in front of us. And you saw Sugar eating from the inside out. That was terrible. Why did you have to be out there to see that? Why did you want to be there? Because that's real life. That's the real world. So is the real world more like horror movie with blood and guts where terrible things even happen to the most innocent and undeserving or a movie with nice people being nice to each other and happy endings Ada where's the sound? I think there's one. Ada look at the pig well, head! Also got a pig. <laughs> cow. cow head whatever I think there's sound Okay. Can I get uh, uh, let's you do... guys doing creepiest laughs like back and forth? I think we just put you see. behind the camera as you come to talk to you. Okay, that's good. Why don't we? Can you get the the um, cow head out of here? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Action. no! Oh, oh. I can't take all the credit. I want to give a little shout out to the Shlomo Goldfarb uh, Weisenstein uh, promoting an acting company. Uh, I took the crash course. It was during COVID, so it was all correspondence, of course. Um, and my first gig, uh, it didn't pay much. Uh, it didn't pay at all, but I think it's going to lead to big things and I can kind of like roll this up to my next opportunity. Yeah, I think it's a good step in my career. It's just starting out, but I think it'd be good. I am Belzhnika, Lord of the Underworld. <laughs> but I can't do it! I'm Belzhnika. Don't even think about going to the pit of despair. <laughs> well, I just want to say it's been a joy working with the walkers. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's been a little bit of a bumpy ride for uh, poor Isabel. You know, thinking that the climactic scene, she might have to deal with some uh, real world blood and guts. And thanks to Nate's vision, it's not uh, really a surprise when you consider, uh, you know, someone who has a painting like that uh, in his office for inspiration. You know, one that's uh, freaked my kids out pretty much their whole life. Uh, not surprising um, that he would want to do a horror movie. But I think, you know, all in all, I think Izzy's dealing with the trauma pretty well, uh, better than expected. So I hope the trailer really comes together. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So, Is, how's it going? You uh, having fun making a movie? Kind of. Well, I know we, uh, horror is probably, you're not your, uh, you know, go-to uh, genre. Uh, but, um, you know, if it's a horror movie, something horrible's gonna have to happen. And, uh, you know, everyone loves you and, uh, Kind of curious how you're feeling about the chainsaw at the end. Can there be something good at the end? Something good at the end. All right. Something good at the end. Which I don't shirt know. Was you Nate, wearing you're directing. Like, you just told me to go down there and get Goodness. the shot. I thought I, you were. I told well, you. Hold on. I, I thought, thought you, you were going shots. away from the intestines. I told you there were four. No, not intestines, but she still needs to be dead. <laughs> How she do just you got make chainsawed. Just, I told you the bloody shirt. Just do the bloody shirt. 
Shannon's bloody shirt. We had this conversation. You're remembering it now. You're like, oh, we did. One. I think that's a good twist. No. Oh my gosh. Movies need a twist. It's like so obvious. Uh, behind the screen, you know where she says something like, hey, the, we got to finish the scene. The, the like most important thing where she talks to you. Did you get her all bloody? Did you get that? Uh, <laughs> Just for the record. <laughs> I'm so mad at you. Okay, go get the shot, bro. Right, go get the shot. Welcome. Make yourself at home. I hate me. I'm loser. I'm dumb cop. I'm stupid. There's I one rule. I'm sorry. Never. I'm oh. awful. I'm evil. Forgive me. I should be castrated. Our dearest daughter, if you are reading this, it means you're still alive. It's only a matter of time. You must fight on, dear. It's good as it gets, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh.